When you look at your season, just what changed for you? I know we've talked to you about it before, but just the success that you've had out there. Uh, I just took ability of my God giving tools, took the coaching, uh, took the grind into a whole nother level, and it's paid off, you know. And the key thing about it is being consistent, and that's what I pride myself on. To be tied for the lead in the nation with def- at the defensive tackle position for sacks, what's that mean to you? Uh, it's big, especially to the outside world, but I think I got where I am because I remain humble. And, you know, you got to take it one week at a time, so that's how I approach it. Armand, y'all won your last game over there at Mississippi State. What's, what kind of effort do you think it's going to take to win this one? Uh, I think it's going to take a lot of effort, especially being an early game, uh, crazy environment, cowbells, crowd. Uh, I think it's big, and we got to bring that intensity out the gate. What do you recall from the 16 game? Uh, Raleigh had a great game, uh, and we all, all units played together. You know, offense was good, defense was good, and special teams were good. And that's how we got to be this week. What kind of challenges does Nick Fitzgerald present? Uh, he's very talented with his feet. Uh, we definitely going to have to be on point, playing a run, and I'm excited. I, I want to accept the challenge and ready to go. How difficult is it facing him? Uh, it's very difficult, especially his size, the way he can run the ball. Good at making people miss, but you know, one thing we have to do is we got to swim to the ball, and the more hats we can get to the ball, the better we're going to be. The running game as well. Yeah. Uh, he's a leading rusher, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, like I said, if we can get all 11 hats to the ball and be physical all night, I think it'll be a good night. A lot of two and eight teams kind of let go of the rope. Why are y'all different than that? I think the pride of the team, uh, the things Coach Morris preaches, the culture we have here is, you know, you got to stay the course. It's not going to be easy, but you don't want to let people think you just laid down and gave up. You know, you got to go out with some pride, and that's how you plan on doing it. Just those cowbells. I know you're on defense, so you're not going to hear them as much, but when you're on the sideline while the offense is on the field, just what do you think of those things? It can be distracting if you let it. Uh, you're definitely going to have to communicate great. We got ways to work with that this week. Uh, Coach Moore's going to do a good job of getting us ready for it. And, you know, you just got to have tunnel vision when you're out there on the field. You can't let it distract you. You had a lot of 11 a.m. home games. How nice is it to have an 11 a.m. road game? Because that helps the uh, the visiting team a lot. Yeah. Um, me, personally, I just take it as like, you know, as soon as you get out of bed in the morning, you got to be ready. And they do a good job of getting us ready at the hotel. And, you know, you got to approach it like the other team don't see it coming, you know, and that's how you got to play. You talked about remaining humble, but I don't know if the NFL was on your radar when, you know, this season started and now it's starting to be. Just the, you know, the thoughts on that. Uh, it's crazy because it's all coming at once, uh, like you said, with the success I've had this season. Uh, the NFL was always a dream, but I guess now it's reality and it's starting to set in. So, you know, I got to take it up a notch. Those sacks, I mean, just what's that like in a sack? <laughs> it's big, man, especially when it's in a big point of a game. Uh, most D tackles, they get them, but they don't get as many, you know. So, like I said before, when you get there, you got to make the most of it, and you know, 